my friend. Hope you're having an awesome day. And, um, you know, I mentioned yesterday that I watched a three hour Tony Robbins event. And, well, looks like it just started. Okay, let me start all over again. Hello, my friend. Hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I just uh, watched a three hour Tony Robbins event. And I mentioned that yesterday. And, you know, going through it, obviously I took some notes, so much value was shared, but he said something that was a key takeaway. I have never heard anyone really mention it this way before. So I wanted to share this with you. Uh, key takeaway. And I really want you to think about these words as I, as I share them with you. We are the creators of our life. We are the creators of our life, not the managers of our circumstances. Think about how good that is. We are the creators of our lives, not the managers of our circumstances. And it makes me think, of course, of the Bible and you know the fact that we were created in the image of the great creator. And uh, we have that power. We definitely have that power. And you know, I, it made me think about a story Years and years ago, um, the company I was working for sent me to Dallas, Texas for a training, like a one week training. And uh, the hotel I stayed with was a nice hotel and so forth. And one day the instructor decided to let us out early. And I went back to the hotel to change clothes. I was gonna go out and explore and so forth and so on. And I noticed that on the marquee, it said that at the same hotel I was staying at, Zig Ziglar was doing a seminar there. And I'm like, this is awesome. So I went to the room just to, you know, to see if it was still going on and so forth. And I got kind of disheartened because I saw the door was closed and I saw it looked kind of dim inside. So I was like, man, I missed out on seeing Zig. This is an opportunity I missed out, you know? Well, what ended up happening is I peeked my head in the door and sure enough, there's this guy in there and he was just kind of putting things away and so forth. And he looked over and he saw me and I said, sorry, just sticking my head in. He's like, oh no, come on in. Well, long story short, that guy was Zig Ziglar. And uh, for, I don't know, probably an hour, he proceeded to talk to me, share with me, learn. He wanted to know all about me. And I told him what a big fan I was of him at the time. And, um, you know, and he's just, it was a great conversation. I'll never forget it as long as I live. And uh, he gave me a bunch of stuff. And one of the things he gave me was a round disc, you know, and it said to it. And uh, you might say, well, why is they said to it? Well, he laughed and he said, because so many people are waiting to get on with things when they get a round to it. So I just give them a, to it, a round to it and they can get on with their lives, right? So we laughed and, you know, afterwards I thanked him and went up, you know, on my way. And I, the reason I think about that is because one of the things he talks about is how there's two types of people in the world. And this gets back to, are you creating your life? Two types of people. One type, people who are wandering generalities. They drift from place to place. They never don't have a lot of uh, direction in where they're going. They just drift through life. And unfortunately, as Zig says, the majority of people live that way. What's the opposite of being a wandering generality? Being a meaningful specific. And um, sure enough, if you're a meaningful specific, what you're doing is you're creating your life. And I encourage you to do that. It's something that, like, like I said, has stuck with me for years, thinking about old Zig Ziglar. And um, then when Tony Robbins shared that in this three hour Facebook Live, it just resonated with me because it just took me back to the wisdom of Zig. So have an awesome day, be blessed, be a meaningful specific, not a wandering generality, and think about ways that you can create the life you want. We'll be talking more about that as I debrief you guys, debrief you over the next several days. So as always, inbox me. I'll send you the top five books you should be reading right now. Um, it's just so much good stuff in there. Stuff that will help you be the creator of your life. So inbox me. I'll send you those top five books and have an awesome day. Take care now. Bye-bye.